Okay, uh, it's quite some time since we had the last uh, interview with Marcus, and right now I'm sitting with Marcus in the other end of the line. So, Marcus, how are you today? I'm very, very good, thank you. I've been traveling uh, to England, but uh, I'm on the hotel now, so everything is fine. Well, you uh, should be all right, I think. Uh, you have some very interesting news for us uh, and for the fans, and I thought uh, they would hear it from you. So, what's up? Yeah, tomorrow, uh, or Tuesday, we're going to announce the, um, uh, the, the, the project for next year, and that's going to be that we're going to stay with iSport International for the 2012 season and I'm also going to be competing in the Abu Dhabi final of the Jupiter series in two weeks or less than two weeks so it's uh, exciting and it's uh, really really nice to, to have everything sorted for next year uh, this early so we can focus really hard on making the best of that yeah, uh, it's yeah. Many congratulations. This is what uh, everybody has been waiting and hoping for that you would get get a seat and uh, not just any seat, but one of the best seats in the in the season. Yeah, I mean it's been uh, it's been hard uh, after the season ended because the result this year was maybe not as good as we hoped, but uh, the second half of the year was the form was really good, so. I think that show people that I can be ready for a really good year in 2012. And obviously, iSport has been pushing really hard to keep me along for next year. And also, there has been interest from uh, more or less all the other top teams. So, I mean, we've been in a good position. But for us, uh, uh, the, the, the choice was, was quite uh, clear because we want to stay with iSport because we've had one year with them and they are a very, very good team. Uh, I know all the people which I work, will be working with next year and we can continue on the work we've done this year so it feels just fantastic that we have managed to get everything together and uh, it's just great and I'm really really looking forward to Abu Dhabi now in a couple of weeks and then of course the next year where I think we can be really really strong together. Yeah, and it must be great to be one of the absolute first drivers to have signed a contract for 2012. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to have everything, you know, sorted in, uh, in good uh, time so you don't have to stress anything over the winter. So now I, it's early and I know what I need to work on and what uh, we as a team need to work on together and we can sit down and discuss it and don't need to rush anything and then we can prepare ourselves perfectly for next season and we can be ready when the first test starts and, and, uh, and you know, go for the top already then. Okay, so uh, do you know who will be the number two driver in Abu Dhabi? Uh, yes, I know, yeah. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we can't reveal that. Uh, you tested in <laughs> Barcelona a couple of weeks ago uh, and you set uh, the fastest time of the day. What was the feeling uh, going back to Bar Barcelona again? No, it was great, obviously, because uh, after the end of the season, we've been uh, working hard to get everything sorted for next year, and we got the chance to go down and test with iSport, and uh, and to go down there and, and be P1 uh, is it's very, very good, and it shows everyone that uh, it's worth uh, pushing for me for next year, and, uh, you know, obviously, in the pre-season testing, it's, or after the season testing, it's, it's always good to be on top and show everyone that you are... Uh, you're on it, and you, you're going to be one of the ones to watch for the for the next season. Yeah, just to explain how fast you were, you were seven tenths faster than the pole time in the race this spring, and you had the same tires, the hard tire compound. And uh, well, to me, that is rather amazing, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's difficult from day to day, of course, but for sure we were quick down there, and I mean, there was a lot of. Uh, experienced guys there and also some new guys who, are, who were really quick so to be part of that group of uh, drivers was, was really good and that showed as I said that the team and me together can be a winning combination in, in 2012 yeah that is exactly what we are hoping for and what we are aiming for uh, for the next season there will be a number of changes there will be no GP2 Asia the a new point scoring systems and uh, new tire rules I think we've uh, gone through them a bit quick here uh, 
two series will become one. Uh, before there were GP2 Asia, this year was intention with three races and uh, then main series with nine races. Uh, in 2012 there will be 12 races in one uh, uh, series. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. And it's really good news, I think, because obviously last year almost everyone did the Asia and the main series and it's just uh, stupid not to put them together and make one big championship because that's, uh, you know, we want as many races as possible and, uh, and it's just great news. I think it's the right thing for GP2 to do and I'm really looking forward. I mean, it's going to be, the plan I think is to be eight races in Europe and four overseas races and that's just really exciting news and I'm really looking forward to that. Have you heard anything in when the schedule we, we is uh, to be decided? Uh, I think uh, there was some rumors that the uh, calendar will be out in now in Abu Dhabi when we go there in two, less than two weeks, but uh, I, I haven't heard anything officially when it's going to be decided, but yeah, that's, that's what I've heard, just some rumors about that. Yeah, sounds great. Then uh, all the fans can arrange for the traveling schedules for next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. That's <laughs> uh, then for this point scoring, something I can't understand why it wasn't changed earlier. Uh, it will be adapted to the F1 system. Uh, in the feature race, it will be exactly as the F1, uh, with 25 to the winner down to one point to the uh, number 10 driver. Uh, that means. Uh, this year there were eight drivers getting points and in the sprint race there will be eight drivers as opposed to six this season uh, four points for pole position and two points for fastest lap uh, how do you think this will affect you? I think it's good I think it's good that it's uh, uh, the top ten that gets points in the first race obviously the, the eight first uh, position will be reversed for the second race so that will stay the same but I think still you know it's a good thing to do and uh, I think yeah, it's just uh, difficult to say what they will change for next year but uh, for me it feels like a positive change of course if I had done my ho homework I should have gone through all the races and seen how this would have affected you if we had this <laughs> point scoring but uh, I just didn't have the time <laughs> So, no problem. Yeah. Uh, something else that is changing is the tyres. This season we had uh, four sets of tyres for one uh, weekend, right? Yes, that's correct. And they were all the same compound. Uh, in 2012 you get three sets of prime tyres, that is the harder tyre, and one set of optional, the softer. Uh, but it's not going to be uh, entirely free for you to choose from because you have to keep uh, one of the harder tires for the sprint race but the softer tire you can uh, use in free practice uh, qualifying or the the feature race how will this there will be an extra touch what, what are your thoughts about uh, the different compounds during race weekend be a difficult one I think it's going to be uh, uh, it's going to be difficult for everyone I think because obviously with only one soft tire in a weekend you have no chance to test it for, for say in free practice to see how it works so a normal plan would be to, to run with a harder tire in free practice and then one harder set for, for qualifying and then a softer set for qualifying uh, which would be difficult because obviously they're going to be different character on the car with a different tire compound so it's going to be uh, very difficult when you arrive to a track to, to put the setup on the car perfect because uh, you don't really know what this option tire will do so for sure it's going to be difficult it's going to be very important for the driver to be able to adapt to, to the grip you will get from the from the softest tire and also you know to, to plan the week and when we're going to use it uh, how we're going to do in the race and you know it's, it's a lot of thinking and we need to sit down and discuss it uh, and me and my team and, and see what the plans will be for next year how we will use this uh, to our advantage but uh, I'm sure you know we have the I have the right uh, people around me to, to make the best decisions and I'm not worried that we will uh, be struggling with this but for sure it's going to be something that's uh, it's going to be difficult but I'm sure we will be fine yeah, I, I think the first uh, three race weekends will be total chaos with uh, everybody watching <laughs> what the others are doing when they're using the, the soft tie. But 
it will definitely definitely be an extra touch and uh, yeah like the f1 that they they there are two tire compounds and it's it's preparing you di drivers for the for the next uh, step there so yeah it, it will be definitely interesting so yes, right. uh, next up is what is called the GP2 final, but it's just to explain it, it has got nothing with the main series this year to do. It's a one off race uh, in Abu Dhabi. So you will be down there 11th to 13th of November, less than two weeks. And uh, seems like it's a track you enjoy. Yeah, we were going to go down there. I mean, it's, it's good to do something over the winter. It's, uh, it's, it's you know, it's limited seat times in GP2, so it's really good to be doing this race to keep your speed up. And, uh, you know, obviously when it's a one-off race, you go down there just to win, and that's all that counts. So uh, we got to go down there and try and show everyone that we we are ready to, to win races already. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really fired up to do a really good weekend. Yeah, and I, judging from what you did uh, this season in GP2 Asia, you were fourth in the feature race and uh, in the sprint race you were third on the podium, so it seems like it suits you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll be competitive. As you said, I have good memories from last time I was there, so uh, I, I don't see a problem going there. It's going to be a great weekend and we're going to show uh, really good uh, results. Yeah, and I know you will uh, be having fans down there as well. Uh, there has been one fan asking me, will he be racing there? And there will be, <coughs> has been I think 20 other asking me. And I said, I don't know, even though I did know. <laughs> So let's hope there will be lots of fans cheering for you down there and uh, ah, a podium or two would be nice. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, all the fans that are on the tracks in, in all the last year, or this year, sorry, it's been, uh, it's been great for me to have that support and it helps me a lot. And, you know, you just want to push harder when you see other fans and the support they, they gave me and also on the fan club, of course. So, uh, yeah, I hope there will be fans also, as you say, in, in Abu Dhabi and I'm sure there will. Yeah, best of luck and congratulations to uh, you and to all the fans who will be seeing you next year in 2012 around the GP2 tracks. Yeah, thanks a lot. See you next year. Yeah, see you.